Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to uh, add gaps faster with grid gap. Grid gap is shorthand property for grid row gap and grid column gap. So instead of writing both of those, you can just write grid gap <laughs> from the previous two challenges. That's, um, so this is this uh, uh, grid gap is more convenient to use. So like so often in programming, you learn one thing and then you learn the better way to do it um, in the next lesson. So if grid gap has one value, it will create a gap between all rows and column. However, if there are two values, it will use the first one to set the gap between the rows and the second value for the column. Okay, cool. So we want to use grid gap to introduce a 10 pixel gap between the row and 20 between the columns. Awesome. So we're just going to go grid gap and we're going to say 10 pixels. And then we're also going to say 20 pixels. So I want you to notice something. When it's 10 pixels, it was everything was just 10 pixels. And then when we let's make it um, let's make it uh, 40 pixels for the column, so you get an idea. You notice the columns are 40 pixels, and then the the the, the row gap is 10 pixels. So that's why you the first uh, argument is for the rows, and the second is for the column. But in order to pass the test, we want to make it 20. And that's still pretty obvious, but I think making it 40 was pretty good. And uh, if we run the test, we'll see they pass. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next lesson.